Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I want to do a quick video talking about a movie that I watched, I think it was this morning or yesterday. It is Funny Man. It is a 1994 British, very British, comedy horror film written by Simon Sprackling, and it stars Christopher Lee and Tim James. Tim James plays the Funny Man. So the main point of the story is there's a bunch of guys sitting around a poker table and Christopher Lee is playing and he's out of money or I guess he wants to up the ante a lot. So he throws in his mansion and he puts his keys on the table and says, I've had this mansion or whatever for however many years, it's passed down through generations and it's worth almost a million dollars. I want to put this in because I think I'm going to win. So the other guy playing, whose name is Max, <clears throat> he ends up putting in whatever he puts in his collateral, and he wins, and he wins the house, the mansion. And him and his family proceed to go to the house, and this part I missed, but it says online that they uh, spun a wheel of chance. I, I must have put my head down or been on my phone or something for a moment. But um, they spin this wheel, and the funny man, who looks like a jester or something like Punch from Punch and Judy, kind of uh, comes out of the floor, like breaks through the floor, and now starts killing off the family members in very gory, but goofy and funny sort of ways. So Funny Man is a, is a perfect name for him because he's a jester. He's killing all these family members in very gratuitous ways, and he's like mugging the camera, making jokes, saying silly things, cross-dressing and acting a certain way and, and acting really goofy. They also have these people that I believe, if I remember correctly, get stuck close by the house and try to go there for help, and they get stuck in the house as well, so he starts going after them. But everything is very over-the-top. As I said, the gore is cool, but everything is over-the-top, silly kind of uh, jabs. He definitely does a lot of, of, of mugging at the camera where he makes jokes and acts silly and says kind of dry British-type humor, and uh, I was pretty happy with this movie. I thought it was pretty fun, a like, light-hearted horror movie. I like things like Rumpelstiltskin or Leprechaun, so this sort of, from the cover, looked like something I'd be interested in, and I was. It came out in 1994. I would say it feels like an early 90s, maybe late 80s movie even. It says the budget was 50,000 pounds, which for a movie is pretty good, and as I said, from Dracula fame and a lot of horror, Hammer horror movies, Christopher Lee is in it. He's actually the one who gives the, the keys to uh, bet his home, the mansion, and he has some parts in the film, but he's not a huge part of the movie. I think they, uh, they got him as like the, the main big name of the film. It sort of reminds me, it it mentions this in Wikipedia, but it says it's it soon becomes a Scooby-Doo rock and roll madhouse with bizarre scenes, gruesome kills, and many humorous moments. And I think that's probably a good way to put it. It's a very lighthearted, silly, over-the-top comedy horror movie with this jester character, funny man, just running amok. So if you're in the mood for something that's kind of mindless, no thinking involved, just Fun, gore, silly horror. I would recommend Funny Man. I think it it hit all the boxes for me that I wanted it to hit. I didn't expect anything great, and I was pleasantly surprised. This movie currently is in full on YouTube in both HD and non-HD for free. Somebody had uploaded it. And also, there is a Blu-ray in, in the UK, I believe, that is region-free that I have yet to pick up because it runs between... 25 and like $40. So that's that's a pretty chunk of change for a Blu-ray. So check out Funny Man if you haven't seen it. This was recommended to me by a buddy on Facebook named Weirdling Wolf. Big shout out to him for always cluing me in on these very strange horror films that I haven't seen. Thanks guys for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.